alternates back by popular demand it's your course catalog description but on video so you can replay this as many times as you like it's time to schedule classes for the 2022-23 school year believe it or not so you have received your course catalog that looks like this in all of your classes today i want to remind you that every class that alter offers is in this book with a description in my mind the best part of the book comes at the end because that's where your planning worksheets are for your schedule please look at your graduation year and make sure that you're following the grid to plan your classes. Following me today, we have all of the teachers that are offering elective courses because they will be explaining all the wonderful offerings we have here at Alter. And in the next two weeks, your teachers and your classes will recommend placements for you and you will start getting signatures for your courses for next year. If you have any questions about anything throughout the process, we have fabulous guidance counselors, dedicated teachers, and of course, Mrs. Grody and I are always in the cafeteria if you need anything. So without further ado, our first uh, subject area that's up is business, and Mrs. Portman will explain all of the wonderful offerings in that department. Mrs. Portman? Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm excited to talk to you about the business department. We have a lot of great electives that you can take as juniors and seniors. First up, I want to talk about Accounting 1 and Accounting 2. Accounting 1 is offered first semester and we study proprietorships. Second semester, you can join us in Accounting 2 and study corporations. If you're creative, consider marketing. You will have the opportunity to explore all the different careers available in marketing. You'll be able to learn all the facets of marketing and you can even get a leg up on ways to market yourself for college and careers. If you think you're interested in law, maybe consider business law. We start at reviewing our constitution, and then we delve into law and how it affects all of us, including civil, criminal, and business law. Maybe entrepreneurship is where you're interested if you wanna someday run your own business. Do you want to own up your own business, run your own medical practice, or explore being your own boss? Sign up for entrepreneurship. If you love all kinds of software and showing your digital creativity, then multimedia is for you. In this class, you will explore, explore many different software packages in digital media and do all kinds of great projects. Finally, if someday you want to own your own car, your home, take your dream vacation, retire, then personal finances for you. This class, we're going to share with you all the ways you can make and save and invest money. You will be exposed to the Dave Ramsey series that will guide you through this process in dealing with investments, purchases, or insurance, and more. So eventually, you can move out of mom and dad's house. We'd love to see you in the business department. Thanks for listening. Next up is Mr. Hall and the Fine Arts. Hello, I'm going to start off the visual arts with Art 1. Uh, this is a half credit course, one semester. And Art 1 is really a better understanding through the elements and principles of design. Uh, I often suggest that you take this as a freshman, so if you're interested in taking Art 2, which is our next course, which is also a half a credit, uh, one semester course, um, this is a 10 to 12th grade class, which helps you deep dive into 2D and some 3D elements as well, which is a really good bridge into Art 3, which is an even deeper dive into 2D elements, uh, in which you will learn some qualities of oil painting, acrylic, watercolor, and those kinds of elements, will, which will bridge into Art 4. Uh, which is more of an independent exploration, I like to call it. Um, and it's a technique that you develop your own thesis, which you can use even if you're interested in taking a class that's called Portfolio A and Portfolio B, which is uh, reserved for seniors, which is uh, a little bit more of a standout course where you're able to develop a portfolio that you will want to submit to college if you're interested. Um, and that will be the Visual Arts 1 through 4. Uh, Ceramics 1 is a 10 to 12th grade, one semester, and that's a half credit course as well. Um, that is a class in which you will be doing hand building techniques. We will be doing a professional glazing technique, uh, as well as exploring the, the facets of history of ceramics as well. Uh, that will bridge into ceramics too, which is specifically a wheel throwing course, 
uh, which you will be practicing specifically on the wheel, making a series of sets of skills that will bridge you perfectly into Ceramics 3, which again is more of a focus on sp uh, specifically spending time making your own thesis and developing and honing your own practical skills. Um, another course we have is architecture, which actually requires three visual arts credits before you can take that. And that is a class in which you will explore the history of architecture, developing and designing your own skills uh, uh, in, in regard to building buildings, interiors, exteriors, and some sort of interior design uh, that, that is in regard to uh, the design you create in the first place. Uh, that class is often offered in the spring, is a half credit as well. The next course we offer is digital photography. This is 11th and 12th grade. Uh, this is a half semester as well, or half, uh, one semester half credit as well. This covers a lot of DSLR camera practices, as well as Photoshop, digital editing, and uh, practicing different compositions and lighting techniques. Uh, the next course we offer is product design. This one is a bridge with graphics and fashion. And this class focuses on branding, product, creating uh, sewing patterns, dresses, outfits that you will create from scratch by using a sewing machine. Um, that class actually requires three visual art credits before you can take it. Uh, again, three visual arts credits for product design. Uh, the next person up is our band director, Todd Tucker. Hi, I'm Mr. Tucker, and I'm going to be talking to you uh, about our classes we offer in our performance uh, instrumental classes. Uh, first, we have our band classes. Those are brass, woodwind, and percussion, as well as opportunities for string, piano, bass, or guitar players. Uh, all of the members of our band class are in our concert band. Uh, in addition, almost all of our band students participate in our award-winning marching band, the Alter Marching Knights. Uh, both of these classes are co-curricular. They have classes during the day and then rehearsals after school. We also have our visual ensemble class or our color guard class. Uh, this is our competitive group as well, along with our marching band. Uh, they operate as the color guard in the fall and the winter guard in the second semester. It's also co-curricular with classes during the day and after school rehearsals. Um, this course does include dance, modern movement and equipment such as flags. Our next class is our jazz rock improvisation. There is a prerequisite with that, and that is that you already do play an instrument uh, because you'll be learning the skill of music improvisation. That's reading chord notations, interpreting it, and performing. So that is a performance-based class as well. Um, we also have our music technology one and two classes. Uh, those are project-based classes for musicians and non-musicians alike. That's creating, editing, and producing music all from your computer. We have a music appreciation and history class uh, that's designed for musicians or non-musicians as well. Learning musical concepts through historical, cultural contexts, understanding music's role in culture and society throughout the world. And those are our music courses. I'm also going to talk a little bit about our dance courses for Mrs. Weisskup. Uh, we offer our jazz dance one and two classes, ballet one and two, tap dance, and tap and jazz combo classes, as well as contemporary and lyrical dance classes. Please remember that some of these classes do have prerequisites, so you do wanna double check that to make sure what you can take first and what you can take after those prerequisites. All of these classes are performance-based dance classes and students should be prepared to move and dance every day. I'd like to now introduce Mrs. Megan Sears. Hello, I'm Mrs. Sears and I teach theater here at Alter. We're very blessed to have amazing um, arts classes here at Alter and theater is just one of them. So if you want to kind of dive into your creative side or you know gain stronger artistry or build confidence or just step out of your comfort zone, theater is definitely for you. We start with Theater 101, which is our building block class. And then from there, you can go to the acting route, which is acting one, two, three, or the musical theater side, which is triple threat one, two, three, and we added triple threat four and musical theater. So all of these classes are performance based. So you are gonna get up and move around every day, just like the dance classes. So we also have the Castle Players, which is an after school program that we do, and you'll see all the productions in the conservatory. So I encourage you to talk to another student that has taken the classes or have been a part of the productions just to get a different perspective there. I am always available via email and I cannot wait to see you in class. And this is Mr. Schuster. 
Hi, I'm Mr. Schuster. I'm going to talk a little bit about the social studies offerings uh, here at Alter. Uh, at Alter High School, you're required to take three years of social studies. Uh, this consists of world studies or world history uh, for freshmen, uh, government for sophomores, and U.S. history uh, for juniors. Many, choo many students choose to go on and, and get a fourth year of history as well. Running through that very quick, uh, we have several levels uh, in, in each grade, and uh, we have a uh, Honors World Studies offering for freshmen, as well as the College Prep World Studies. Sophomores uh, have the first opportunity to take an advanced placement class with AP Government, as well as the Honors and College Prep offerings in Government. Uh, the same lineup uh, exists, AP Honors and College Prep uh, Junior Year in U.S. History, uh, and that fulfills the Social Studies requirement um, in uh, at Alter High School. However, senior year, you do have several elective offerings that I'm going to emphasize uh, a little bit more uh, today. Um, students that had been taking honors and AP classes before, many of them choose to take AP Psychology uh, senior year. Um, that class has prerequisites just like the other AP and, uh, and honors classes do, so be sure to look at those prerequisites before determining uh, whether or not you would like to take that course. A new offering this year, or kind of a, a revamped offering this year, is our psychology course. Uh, this is a course that is a, psych, uh, is, is, uh, uh, is a psychology course that, that's not the AP course that emphasizes more of the uh, life skills application approach and um, can uh, kind of take a more broader uh, look at psychology and, and apply various skills uh, that is not part of the AP curriculum, which uh, sometimes uh, changes what, what can be offered uh, with, uh, with that course. That's one option that you have if the AP is not something that interests you. That is also a year-long course. Uh, the, other are, uh, the other elective courses we have are economics, which is a study of economics uh, through a variety of factors, um, through uh, economic uh, turmoil and ups and downs over years, economic downturns and prosperity, um, various business applications in, in terms of entrepreneurship and um, factors such as, as that. Uh, there's also our Society and Culture course, which is a study of American history through the lens of popular culture. The course includes looking at, um, looking at film and uh, music and television uh, examples to uh, get a true perspective on what American life was like uh, in the decades uh, since World War II. Uh, that's what we have to offer in the Social Studies Department. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Kathy Riegel, who's going to talk a little bit about our yearbook program course at Alter. Thank you. Hi, I am Mrs. Riegel, and I'm here to talk to you about yearbook. Uh, the yearbook class is a year-long class where the students create the entire 256-page yearbook. They pick the theme, the color, the font, they type every word, they take the pictures, they are completely responsible for creating the yearbook. Because of that large task, I am looking for a responsible, hardworking, dedicated and motivated students to be in that class. In the class, you'll learn how to use a DSLR, DSLR camera to take pictures. Um, you'll learn how to use Photoshop to create um, to create ads and to edit photos, and you will use an online design program, program to actually design the yearbook. It is a full year-long class, so you have to have room in your schedule for that, and it is elective credit only. Um, you also are required to sell four to six business ads. It helps to fund the yearbook. Um, in addition, you may be required to use time outside of class to go to sporting events or school activities to take pictures. Um, you are able to take the class multiple years. It doesn't have to be just your senior year. You could take it your sophomore, junior, and or senior year, depending on the room in your schedule. There is an application required to be in this class. Um, the application will be emailed to you on February 17th from myself. You can turn that in printed to the main office or to myself, or you can fill it out and email it back to me. There is a parent signature required on the application, and the application is due March 1st. Frau Morris is up next. Hello, hola, bonjour. 
I'm Pearl Morris and I'm representing the World Language Department. We offer uh, French, Spanish, and German levels one through five with four and five uh, being honors classes. And we encourage uh, students to take a language while here at Alter High School. Uh, it is especially important for colleges and universities to see students taking a language and for as long as possible. Um, to receive a, an honors diploma, you need to complete three years of one language or two years of one language and two years of another. For example, two years of Spanish and two years of French. Why take a language? Uh, it's so fun to learn about a different culture and also very important. Uh, there are opportunities in work in the future, uh, in global business, technology, medicine, and in our government. So it is important to take a language. And additionally, we can foster understanding and respect among people when we understand more about the different cultures. Please see Senora Morris, Senorita Hoffman, Madame um, Newman, or me with any questions. Uh, Peter saying adios, au revoir. And next is uh, Mrs. Hacker. Hi, I'm Amanda Hacker, and I'm representing the math department. And probably first and foremost, what you need out of my talk is that students in the math department need to talk to their current teacher about what course to take next year. Um, the teacher and the student will work together to decide next year's course and level uh, what should come next, but parents can contact um, the teacher if they have any questions. So just to let you know, traditionally in high school, you need to take Algebra 1 and then Geometry and then Algebra 2. And then after that, you have some choices with pre-calculus and different things. And I wanna to specifically talk to incoming seniors. Um, you can have a lot of options. You can take selected math topics, you can take statistics, pre-calculus, calculus, there's a lot of different options. You need to be thinking about your college major when you're making your decision. Um, and so at that point, you need to be talking to your counselor, you may talk to me to get some ideas about what would be best for your future. Um, you do wanna take a math class that's best for you as a senior to be prepared for college. Uh, that current, your current math class will determine though if you can take certain classes um, as you go. So I just wanna let you know, make sure you talk to your current math teacher about what to take next year, what level, what course, and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much. And here is Mrs. Schlangen. Hello, I'm Jennifer Schlangen and I would like to talk to you a little bit about English. So English is a four-year requirement here at Alter. Freshman year is an introduction to literature and composition. Sophomore year is world literature. Junior year is American literature and senior year is British literature. Um, as a reminder, we offer regular and honors at each grade level and AP is an option junior year and senior year. Please check the prerequisites for the honors and the AP co uh, courses. English 12 is now British literature. Uh, regular seniors are required to take at least one semester of English 12. In conjunction with English 12, you may also choose an elective for one semester or two semesters of English 12. AP and Honors English 12 are four year courses, so English 12 must be taken two semesters. Um, if you have any questions about English, please ask your current English teacher or feel free to ask me as well. Next up is Ms. Helt. Hi, I'm Ms. Helt. I'm the head of the science department. I'm here to talk to you about your science options for next year. Um, the state of Ohio requires three years for science, but here at Alter we encourage four years because no matter what your major is at college, it's going to require you to take some sort of science requirement. So if you are a current freshman, unfortunately you only have three choices for next year. You have physical science, chemistry B, which is our college prep chemistry, or honors chemistry. You will need to talk to your current biology teacher about what class is best for you next year. They will look at your current science grade, and most importantly, your current math level and your current math grade, because physical science demands a lot of knowledge about math. Um, if you decide to take chemistry B or honors chemistry, you will have a built-in study hall next year. So that means four days a week, you will have a study hall, and then one day a week, you will have a double lab period to do chemistry labs. If you sign up for physical science and still want a study hall, then you will have to make room in your schedule for that and sign up for it separately. Sophomores and juniors, the, the choice is yours. It's, it's wide open to whatever um, your interests are. 
Um, just make sure whatever course you choose, make sure that you meet the prerequisites listed um, next to the class, if there are any. If you have any questions, talk to your current teacher or you can come see me in room 108 and ask about a class that you're interested in. Science is typically divided into two groups, physical science, which is much more math-based, and life science, which is much more organismal. And um, for a lot of labs, there are dissections. So that might be you know, a breaking point for some people. So I'm just gonna quickly list the choices that we have. And again, talk to your current science teacher or come see me if you have questions. So under physical science, you can take earth science too. You can take astronomy. You can take computer science. All three of those classes are semester classes. Then we have three levels of physics. So regular physics, honors physics, and AP physics. Um, we also have our two STEM classes, honors principles of engineering and honors digital electronics. And then there's also AP chem. Um, we have a new class next year for physical science, which is honors organic chemistry with biological topics. So if you're interested in continuing knowing about chemistry or you, want, you think you might go into the medical field, um, honors organic chemistry with biological topics might be a class that you might want to take and it's only a semester class. On the life sciences, we have invertebrate zoology, vertebrate zoology, environmental science, and those are semester classes. And then we have AP bio, applied anatomy and physiology, honors anatomy and physiology, and then we have two new classes, Applied Physiology and Health Sciences and our nursing class. I have three people behind me that are going to talk more in depth about some of those uh, electives and you can uh, either see them or see me if you have questions. So next up is Mrs. Pop. First, I'm going to talk about digital electronics. Digital electronics is a senior only class. It is project based. Um, it is a circuitry class, so we learn to solder, um, fun little projects, and we um, learn circuitry base and we build circuits in class and we breadboard, so it's very much project based, kind of math heavy, so the recommendation is a good grade in 202 to take the class. And like I said, it's for seniors and it's project based, it's a whole year of circuitry. Um, I also want to talk about Chef 1 and Chef 2. Chef one is one semester and it's beginning cooking. So we start with omelets, we do crepes, we do pancakes. And then by the end of chef one, we make apple pies from scratch. Chef two is a little harder. It's offered second semester. And in chef two, we make harder things. We'll make creme brulee. We'll make um, like this week was Mexican week. So we had enchiladas today and we make um, fajitas. Uh, we also have a lot of other uh, food that we make in Chef 2 that are harder, like homemade ravioli, where we make the dough, we make the filling, and we make the sauce. So that also is a semester, uh, one semester class. So take Chef and eat during the day. And after me is Mr. Kramer. Hi, I'm here to talk about um, our new offering, Applied Physiology in Health Sciences. This is for juniors and seniors who have already taken health um, and it's a half credit or one semester class. So it kind of mixes biology with health and we study how the body works at rest and then apply that to things like um, what happens in the body when you eat or when you exercise. Um, we're also gonna explore some healthcare careers. Um, so things like athletic training or physical therapy or anywhere in medicine, we'll explore some of those careers and what that looks like as well. Um, come see me if you want to find out more about this class or talk to Ms. Health as well. Uh, next up, we have Kelsey from Kettering Health to talk about the course. Hello, my name is Kelsey Turner and I work for Kettering Health. We have the opportunity to partner with Alter High School to offer the first ever state test and nursing assistant program this fall. It's an incredible way to kickstart your career in healthcare. As part of the course, you'll complete a, a total approximate number of hours of 80 hours spread out over the semester with the instructor. There will be a minimum of 59 hours in the classroom and 16 hours of clinical time where you'll get to go to our long-term care facility and get hands-on uh, experience with, this, with supervision from the instructor. Once your hours are complete, you'll be able to take the state test to be certified as a nursing assistant. And as part of our partnership, Kettering will be offering jobs to all students who take this course and pass the state test. We'll even pay for the course if you agree to work for us for a certain amount of time after passing the test. 
It's a great way to get your foot in the door at Kettering Health. We're really excited about the opportunity and hope we can play a part in kickstarting your career in healthcare. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shannon Brown and I am one of the counselors here at Ultra High School and I work with students with lastings A through L. Um, the other counselor, um, Ms. Kristen Hamaker, works with students lastings N through Z. And I just wanted to come alongside our wonderful teachers to talk with you about kind of what's coming in terms of um, scheduling your classes and some th important things to keep in mind while you do that. So here soon you'll receive a course sheet which will be broken down into semesters. So you'll have your first semester and you'll have your second semester. Um, keep in mind that even though you might be in a year long class, we do break them up by semester. So you need to make sure that you sign up for both semesters of a year long course. Um, and then you'll list the preferences that you will want to have your electives, but please note that it is not guaranteed that you will be able to take the elective you want in the semester you list on your sheet. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, in addition, you'll get your course description book and in there, there's a wealth of information all the way from the graduation requirements from Alter to um, the course descriptions. On page 16, there will have um, Alter's graduation requirements and the breakdown by, um, by discipline. So it's important to also understand that there are electives that you do have to take. So you do need to take health and um, speech, art, and PE. And PE is a little different. So a semester of PE is only worth a quarter credit. So you do need two in order to achieve that half credit. Um, for our student athletes and those students who participate in marching band or cheerleading, there is an option to do um, a PE waiver form um, where you can waive your PE requirement. Um, for that, you do need two seasons, and it can be two seasons of any sport, any activity. Um, those activities that are included are listed on the form, and those forms you can find in guidance. So during your season, it's important that you go to guidance, you get the form. Um, at the end of the season, that form needs to be filled out and signed by your coach and the athletic director, as well as a parent, and then turned back into guidance so we can award, um, well, we can waive your credit. Um, that form must be turned in at least six weeks after your last competition. Um, that's just the time frame we're asking to make sure it gets on your transcript. Um, in addition to that, um, I also wanted to discuss study halls. So while we encourage study halls, it's so important. Please note that you will only be able to take one study hall per semester. So again, while you're planning your schedule, know that you can only have one. In some classes, as Ms. Help mentioned, the chemistry is built into the student's schedule, so they wouldn't be able to do an additional one. And if you have questions, please feel free to um, ask your counselor and we'll be more than happy to help you kind of um, plan out your schedule. Another point is the honors diploma. So again, on page 16, it breaks down what is required for the honors diploma. And this is a state set standard. Um, so you can also search for it on the Ohio Department of Education's website but it breaks it down what is needed and you only need to meet all but one of the requirements. So um, if you have questions, feel free to ask. It is the student's responsibility to make sure they're staying on track. Um, but of course, if you ever have questions, by all means, please reach out. Um, and then the last little thing I wanna discuss. So you schedule your classes, you go online, everything's great and then you decide, you know, Maybe I didn't want to pick that class. Maybe I want to change my schedule. Um, you would just need to stop by guidance and pick up a schedule change form. And you will have until the end of the school year to change your schedule. Um, we won't, the fee is not enacted until the end of the school year. So you have some time to um, pray about your schedule, make sure it's what you want it for the next school year. Um, after that, after the end of the school year, we do enact the $100 schedule change fee. But really the big takeaway in all of this, if you ever have questions about anything in regards to scheduling, obviously take, talk to your teachers um, if you have questions on placement, but also feel free to come up to guidance and talk to us and we're happy, happy to help you with anything you may need.
Thank you. And then Mrs. Lambert has some more words for you. Well, isn't it an awesome time to be a knight with so many great offerings here at Alter High School? I know this is a lot of information and that's why the teachers really wanted us to film it this year so that you can review this as many times as you like. Please don't forget that we're here to help you every step of this process. This may seem overwhelming, but we are here, as Mrs. Brown said, to help. How about that new Nurses Aid course? I can't wait to see how many people sign up for that and get jobs at Kettering Health. I'm so excited for the future here at Alter and so glad that you are on the journey with us and we are on the journey with you. Thank you and go Knights.